within the parameters of the rule of law. And I agree with you. The police must never act outside the framework of the rule of law. They must do that which only the Constitution and the law allows them to do. And it is very clear that any operation of the police outside the parameters of the law, the police will be held to account. Whether it is uh, holding citizens beyond the stipulated time, but I must be thoroughly clear to you, when police arrest somebody, there is a constitutional timeline which they are allowed by the law to hold that person. 24 hours. That does not amount to an abduction. 24 hours. In my, in my opinion. A case in point is what has just been said here about uh, what happened earlier today. And you guys clearly said in this uh, uh, conference that it was an abduction. I mean, it, it's just clear now that it is not an abduction. They are not this, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is an arrest. And the police have come forward to say, this is the situation, we have arrested uh, this person. And it is, it is just good for us to all of us follow the law. And, and I agree with you, the police must act within the law. But let me ask you one question uh, also, Latif. I have never, in this conversation, which is now 20 minutes in, are you guys bothered? about the fact that parliament was burnt? Are you guys concerned that millions of businesses of Kenyans, hardworking Kenyans, we, we are, yes, were, were destroyed? How do you feel? But it all happened. Yeah, How do you feel? It, and it all happened under your watch, Mr. President. No, but that, this, this is at the end of the day, this is why we are saying you sort must, keep us safe. We must be even. You know, we must be even. The police have a difficult job. They have to make sure the peaceful demonstrators are protected. But they also must make sure that the criminals, and, I, and when you say criminals, you know, when I said the other day criminals, many people took offense that I was calling the demonstrators uh, criminals. That's the not. Families of the dead, your that, that is not. That's a lot of offense. Family of Rex. Rex was killed in a week when the protesters were very peaceful. <laughs> the first week of this protest were peaceful. We saw protesters carrying. Carrying uh, flakers and water bottles. Just water bottles. My, my <laughs> Rex was killed on his way out of work. Yeah, let me, let me, let me. How do you tell feel? You. I mean, let me, let me tell you. When they hear me, you say criminals, I mean, are you are you telling me Rex is the one who broke, uh, who burned Parliament? But Rex died without breaking no, anything. No, I'm just telling you. He died. You know, Rex died. There are, died there are criminals yeah. who infiltrated and caused mayhem, and in fact. Some of the criminals are actually harmed. They actually harmed the peaceful protesters. Many of the peaceful protesters, they lost phones. They were attacked. In fact, some of the uh, peaceful protesters were attacked by criminals, including a clear example of the one I have, I have, I have explained to you, that they overpowered the police, took the gun from the police, and started shooting innocent people. So we must deal with this situation globally. Mr. President. I feel for Rex and the mother. This should not happen to any child in Kenya, especially when they are engaged in a peaceful demonstration. Mr. President, the, the concern I've heard from the young people, because 